Well, hello everyone and welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology. Know your planets, know yourself or know your nation, know yourself. Okay, uh, oh, what's today's date? Today is the 18th of March 2024 and the time is 21.33, my UK local time. Let me just straighten up my camera a little bit. Um, oh, so it, it's it's been very interesting. So th this this is this is going to be something a little bit different. I've not done this before. I'm going to be focusing on well, you've seen me do tarot before, of course, tons of times. You've seen that before. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do I'm going to read tarot cards on Harry, Meghan, William, and Catherine. And why am I doing this? Um, there has been an extraordinary frenzy, as you guys know, as to Catherine's whereabouts, her health, etc., all of that kind of stuff, which has been intensified, shall we say. That speculation has been intensified, of course, with the famous now, well, infamous uh, Mother's Day uh, picture, which... Uh, had a kill notice and that's a very strong word isn't it and you think of it you don't even really want to those kind of words being used but anyway a kill notice was issued on the photograph when it had been found out to be heavily doctored it is essentially it's a chimera uh, a composite of several uh, different photographs and uh it was deemed manipulated at source which is uh and then it was said that the palace was asked to clarify and post an original picture that orig that was refused. Um, and I think that's because they can't provide the one original because of course it's a composite of different other ones together, which really has been established now. This is well beyond doubt and well beyond conspiracy theory. And that has led uh, to the palace, uh, CNN and many others, like literally CNN and other kind of like associate press, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, have uh, deemed the palace no longer a reliable source of information. Now, this, you know, on the Richter scale on certain people's things that, you know, people may not see that as a big deal. But as a Brit, and I just want to say, um, as a British person, I am allowed to talk about my own country. Oh, shock horror. Yeah. Um, just saying. Some It seems so, so, there are some people uh, in the comments that seem to take umbrage with my uh, interest in my own country and things that are happening here. So um, just maybe just reflect uh, on that. It can't be about Trump all the time anyway and uh, a kill notice is is very rare it's the first time it's actually been issued uh, for royal photograph official royal photograph and uh, the people that or the institutions or entities that uh that are associated with these things um are things to do with the regime in iran and north korea so it's not very salubrious uh company as it were to be to be put in there have been an extraordinary amount of conspiracy theories conjecture gossip galore uh, as we know and i've really heard i've heard some astonishing things um as many of us have um it is it has become genuinely bona fide a global issue kate's disappearance we say disappearance uh allegedly she's she's recovering and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that when when i get to her but this has genuinely gone all around the world and i was watching one uh, youtuber um who's been talking i'm mean, I think probably a little bit too much to be honest we're talking probably about two or three videos per day but you know each to their own and he was saying that he's been staying in the middle east and he's oh he said he overheard the local arab men at the local cafe in dubai talking <laughs> talking about this <laughs> and then, 
you yeah, know this this is this is uh, for better or for worse i think i think for worse but it seems to have really captured people's imagination and i think we're going through the a, a kind of an archetypal moment here uh as you've heard me saying pluto in capricorn i feel like the whole world we're going through this archetypal change right now where we're kind of being forced to question everything so what i've uh, what I want to do is I've literally written out things here and it's just to ask a few questions to try and maybe take a little bit more of a helicopter view and just try and maybe uh, see collectively uh, what the cards have to say on this subject. As you know, I just read the cards. And I try and be as even keel uh, as possible. I try not to either criticize too much nor praise too much either, because being a human being is a complex thing. And regardless of if a person, person is royal or, or not, uh, everyone's still human beings at the end of the day, prone to errors uh, and mistakes. Um, what I would also say as well is before I continue, one of the main things that I think for me is the most important is just that Catherine is okay. Yeah, I think that would put a lot of things to bed. Uh, she is said to be coming out after Easter. We'll see and there's reported sightings as well, which we can or cannot take with a pinch of salt. But I'll leave that when I get to um, her section. But this is just my attempt uh, because remember i've already done the astrology i've already done sort of like the deep dives as it were in there and i really do feel those videos are actually holding up um yeah i really do we're obviously we're not getting the the full picture here i think if anyone does think that then um then that would be very interesting to say the least especially with the do these doctored photographs and stuff going around but also as well um i've been noticing in the narrative as well uh megan and harry are being pulled into things as well to to a certain extent uh where they've certainly not published any statements and seem to be kind of trying to stay out of it at least on that level so i'm going to look at harry ask a few questions going to look at megan ask a few questions going to look at william ask a few questions and then i've got a few questions for catherine with the cards and let's just see what the cards say as you know i say what I see and how I interpret it to the best of my ability. I think it's just worth saying as well, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, of course, here I'll be reading the cards combined with, you know, my professional opinion on, on what I feel that those energies or what those cards are actually saying and the things that I say are not to be interpreted as fact. Okay, so let's let's begin. Let's start with with Harry. I'm just going to get my um my favorite cut deck of the moment card de jour, my golden Art Nouveau tarot. And there's just been so much astonishing stuff floating around, and some of it. If even only half of it is true, not even that, a quarter, I mean, it, the ramifications are just like, wow. But let's talk, let's talk a bit. Let's ask the cards about Harry. So what's written here? It's been said that William uh, may have reached out to Harry and exchanged a picture of Prince George. So uh, I can't remember which member of the uk press uh said this but uh allegedly there has been um they're saying that william has reached out to harry with either a text or, or sending a picture of prince george or, or something like that so uh question one due to the king's illness so of course we're now talking about king charles who as we know has an undis is uh, recovering or um, receiving treatment for an undisclosed uh cancer after um, a prostate uh, examination for, for an enlarged pro prostate, 
then uh, cancer was dis discovered and he's receiving treatment. So, um, so due to the king's illness, um, due to the king's illness is necessity giving Harry an opportunity to take up royal duties while the king recovers. Now, you would, you guys that watch uh, my Hogali, and I don't assume everyone does, but uh, those of you that did. We did get a spontaneous question that came in and asked if Harry, if, if Harry would be king. And you remember the cards that I got, it looked like he would be made an offer or he had some kind of wish fulfillment um, and was being an, made an offer, perhaps being welcomed into the fold. But let's just see if, if there is, if we get similar or if I get similar results again. So due to the king's illness is necessity giving Harry an opportunity to take up royal duties while the king recovers. And you notice I'm not adding any pros or cons to that or whatever. I'm just asking that question directly. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Due to Charles's illness. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, even just in general, I just have a sort of sick feeling in my stomach. Look at that. That's the same card I got on Saturday when I when I answered the, the question, when we answered the question. Wow. Hmm. Well, 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 this is very interesting. Okay, okay. So those those of you that saw the Hogley show, when we did the Harry question, do you remember I got the Ten of Cups? He's back. Yeah. So here in this context, uh, uh, due to necessity, will Harry have an opportunity to take up uh, royal duties while the king recovers? So here, this would suggest a yes. Uh, this is the what the the wish uh, fulfillment card you can see here is the happy merchant. It means wishes granted satisfaction uh, at, at something here. So there could be it, this could mean there may be potentially a role for Harry uh, going forward. They're obviously listen, people are going to make all sorts of kind of things in the comments. And what I would just ask is please don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> yeah. Please don't embarrass yourself with kind of either shouting out slogans or slurs or ridiculous things and getting completely in a froth and, and being disrespectful and rude. The vast majority of you are polite, but some people are turnips, unfortunately. And if you are, you're going to get chewed out in the comments. If you chew me out in the comments, it's fair, fair enough. As you know, I read the cards. And this card has come back after you saw me shuffling. And this was since Saturday that I got it. So this is symbolizing the re reading. So obviously this is a bit more than a coincidence now, isn't it? So there's an element here where Harry's going to get some of his wishes fulfilled in some kind of way. When we look here, what is the obstacle card? Now, this is turning up as the obstacle card, but... Mm, it, mm, do we have to do it that literally? So here we have the King of Pentacles. Um, obviously, this could be in reference to Charles. Yeah. Now, because Charles is literally king, of course, Prince uh, William is not is not there yet, although he is second in line to the throne. So if this is turning up in the obstacle position, this is obviously dealing with what obstructions to the king. He's obviously undergoing uh, treatment at the moment for cancer and he is not completely co incapacitated. He's still doing a lot of uh, the royal duties like um, because what people need to remember is. 
is that the king or queen of, of the UK, so, uh, so that is of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, as well as the Commonwealth, uh, which I understand, um, I think the king is head of state in over 50 countries, I think, in the Commonwealth. Let me know in the comments. I think I might just need to d just double check that one. But anyway, major, major, major head of state. So there are because we have a constitutional monarchy, and this is also as well why the British people are in uh, quite a froth over this, is because it, uh, the royal family actually play a constitutional role. They're actually part of the legal system. Uh, if or if Parliament were to crash tomorrow, the actual sovereign could actually, you know, reign again in terms of actually like ruling literally the the country. Also, as well, what a lot of people don't know is is that the king or the queen is also a uh, head of the judiciary as well. So, for example, if a person goes to prison, for example, one euphemism for that was be, would be, or at least back in the day, would be to be at Her Majesty's pleasure. That means you're in prison, yeah? <laughs> and it's literally a constitutional thing. Or uh, in this case, it would be His Majesty's pleasure because obviously um, we have King Charles. But he's obviously not feeling that great at the moment. If we look here, we have a page of pentacles uh, coming up. So uh, again, so pentacles also deal with values, as we know, but they also, also have connotations with money as well and finance. Pages are, of course, about messages. So I think one of the things, uh, I, what I would surmise is, is that before Harry takes on these duties, he would like full funding for his security. It is something that he has mentioned a lot. So as you know, he's gone to court over this. He's been refused by, by courts, obviously, with the complications and issues around the book and all that stuff. People are wanting to be, you know, members of the royal household, uh, which don't only include uh, the royal family. We're talking like this is, you know, a lot of people here obviously have taken umbrage uh, uh, with, with, with that book. And when he is not on official royal business, Harry isn't currently actually given um, his own security detail, so people may not know that, and that's been one of one of his one of his issues. So I would suspect that this would come up, but of course, if he's doing royal duties, he would get that automatically. I think this is probably talking about the the other stuff in terms of feeling safe enough uh, for him to bring over, uh, of course, Meghan and his family. If we look here. It will, oh, what's happened? My camera froze a little bit. So if we look here, we have got the five of swords and I'm not going to hold up the more aggressive cards too long or any of the naked cards because that sometimes that can demonetize the video, but you saw me flash it there. So the five of swords, of course, we understand deals with what abuses of power, fights, arguments, disagreements. Here, uh, after, after the fight, we can see there are also two characters that are walking away. So what this says to me is, is that there is still uh, an element of contention about how much uh, money will be spent on Harry's security because maybe how the palace may have viewed what they may have seen as an abuse of power or maybe something going too far or something like that, of course, with the book. Now, look, you don't have to be a psychic or a tarot reader to understand that obviously it didn't go down well with the royal palace. But at the same time, Harry felt that he needed to say the things that he needed to say as well. It's still my personal belief that I think he will come to, or may even already, may already regret elements uh, of the book or writing that book, especially in terms of his visa as well. It's got him into a little bit of hot water in the United States because, of course, he's admitted to drug taking and uh, et cetera. You know, and everyone, just so you know, in the UK, it is not news about Harry liking parties, getting drunk and taking drugs. We've known this for decades, literally decades uh, Harry and I are actually quite close in age, and I just remember seeing him splash across so many front 
front tabloids falling out of clubs and stuff like that. So we know he he's had that 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 wilder past, which he has fully fessed up about. But that has got him into a little bit of hot water vis-a-vis -vis, uh, America because when you're applying for a visa, you can't actually have. Um, you know, admitted to taking drugs, etc., and that kind of stuff. It, it would, it actually is considered to make the visa void. So there is an issue. There is an issue there. But of course, you know, the revelations uh, of the books, you know, would have caused a few things. But he obviously felt he needed to say what he needed to say as well. And so, you know, I can see it from both 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 perspectives. But even saying that, I'll probably be called bias in the comments. By the turnips but hey um if we look here uh we've got the page of swords here so again look two pages so there's a lot of stuff going on around messaging and stuff like that the swords also deal with the mind the intellect page the page of swords in particular does have a strong association with media sometimes even gossip so there is an or or you know some kind of maliciousness there so i think uh looking at that in the context of harry because we understand he's had a very fraught and difficult relationship with the media i think the middle card here which is the page of pentacles I think if he is going to engage in uh, any royal duties, assuming that he has been asked due to the king being relatively incapacitated uh, or at least not able to fulfill his full duties, part of the conditions of that may be that um, Harry would want his security um, secured uh, in order from the perspective to protect himself from quite literally attack yeah the five of swords and perhaps as well uh maybe uh, vicious voices in the media in regard to him and megan so again just reading the cards guys just reading the cards it's funny that i get uh some people accused of bias when you can actually see that i shuffle the cards pull the cards and just read them we all know what those associations are. Many of you are uh, tarot pullers or readers yourself. So, you know, it's not rocket science. I'm literally just reading the cards, aren't I, and using my intuition. All right, question two. What's the relationship like between William and Harry now? I think that's worthwhile asking. So let's pull this down. What's the relationship like between William and Harry now? Harry, of course, said in his book Spare that William did attack him, breaking his necklace and shoving him back onto the dog bowl, which broke and cut into the skin in his back. So he's gone on the record to say that. It's not been denied, of course. Oh, look at that. That has to be the first one. Well, well, well. Let's see. Is this, what's the situation in their relationship now? Hmm. Uh, how interesting. I think Megan's turned up. Yeah. Would have to be Megan. All right, let's have a look. All right. So here we get the strength card. This may suggest that the bond between the two is stronger than we have previously been led to believe or have thought course the strength card is not just physical strength this is also about taming the emotions this is about self-control as well uh this is about uh, both uh, this would suggest both of them are having to dip into their reserves of strength they're obviously two strong characters as well they're they're two you know two brothers in one of the most famous monarchies that's uh, ever existed so this would suggest maybe there's a deeper bond 
uh, that is still exists between uh, between William and Harry. And maybe they're actually kind of, you know, it looks like maybe it look, I can only just say what I'm seeing. Uh, there's there's strength there. There, there, there. there is an element there of, of, of digging deep. So maybe, maybe in light of what has happened, of course, to to the king, their father, you know, maybe there might be an element of kind of life is too short. Could be that could be that. If we look here. Uh, in the obstacle position, we have the Eight of Wands. Now, this is a card that is associated with speed. Uh, you can even see aviation as well, to an extent. You see the wands are flying through the air. Um, but this is turning up in the obstacle position, which uh, can refer to kind of, uh, if we can see it almost as upside down, this can refer to stagnation in some kind of way, or business or accord or disharmony business not quite working well so I think obviously between the two of them they still have quite a lot to sort out I think they have a lot of disagreements that still need to be dealt with <clears throat> if Harry was to uh, get his wish fulfillment yeah that ten of cups there needs to be that more of that negotiation between he uh, and William about that however childhood bonds may um may supersede yeah the pre the, the 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 previous rift we will have to see this card is turning up in the middle and of course this is a card of nostalgia of childhood looking back into the past uh wanting a sense of security or trying to create family stability so <clears throat> because of course this is quite a discordant energy here if we look here, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which we know is a passionate woman, creative, uh, somewhat of a leader as well, articulate uh, and uh, able to uh, have a strong social circle around her and a woman that uses her intuition as well. So I can't help thinking of Megan uh, in this respect, in this respect here. So there are... It, it, I would say is like, because what was there? What is the relationship relationship between William and Harry now? So there is an element here where there may be uh, have to be details to, discussions about about Meghan, and you know, uh, just basically kind of yeah, basically just kind of discussing discussing that because I'm not wanting to say too much one way one way or the other because the atmosphere is so febrile right now. And then the outcome card, we get wands again. So remember, wands are about are about passion. Wands, uh, the twos are about decisions. But there's a very entrepreneurial quality as well. And obviously, Megan also has an entrepreneurial quality. Uh, so if we look here, we see the merchant is looking out at the world. Yeah and speculating about the next move to make because two is always about making plans as well so i think uh what is part of the discussion between uh, william and harry assuming they are talking again is i think it's what role would megan have uh particularly on the global stage in regard uh, if Harry were to be uh, welcomed back in, into the fold to uh, carry out some of the royal duties, because you can imagine they're spread very thin at the moment. Uh, the, the king obviously is trying is trying to recover and is, he loves to work, but he's not allowed to quite literally. Camilla has taken up some of the slack, but she can only do so much. And I think she's just returned from a holiday uh, in Spain. Clearly, she needed a bit of a break. Uh, Catherine, as as yet, as we know, has not been able to do, not been able to do anything, and she's the subject of incredible, intense, pardon me, speculation, and she's not being said to do uh, royal duties until after Easter. So, if you think of like uh, what were like the top four working royals, which is the King, Camilla, uh, and uh, of course uh, William and Meghan. William and Meghan, please. William and Catherine, or we like to call her Kate in the UK, that means they're 50% down. If you think about it, they're literally 50% down. So they are going to need help in order for the, the monarchy to be able to continue to fulfill its constitutional role. 
But I think the main part of the discussion is what uh, what role will Meghan play in terms of royal duties if she wants to take part in that? And I'm, I'm sure she would have to as well if 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 William. Um, God, if why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep putting the two names together? That's interesting in of itself, isn't it? Hmm. This, this must be a, something that is a discussion between them. But um, when uh, if Harry should return to more formal royal duties or would she be expected to stay overseas and maybe what? Look after the kids. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one could look at it that way, potentially. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So let's just cross over those. So that's Harry. All right, let's look at Megan now. Now, uh, here, th this question here. After it was after it was said in the UK press that Megan and Harry's pregnancy black and white photo was cut and pasted with different trees and meadow, which it categorically was not, as stated by the photographer, who proved who proved it. Uh, you know, he showed the metadata and all that was changed was that it was taken from a color photograph to um, a gray scale via a remote shoot done via an eight megapixel iPad. Uh, and I'll put it uh, proven with the metadata that he published. And so basically um, it, it was alleged in some sections of the UK press that that pregnancy photo was also heavily doctored and cut up and stuff like that, that the tree that was there was said to be a willow tree, which it wasn't. I think he said it was a jacaranda or something like that. Uh, and, and the and they said they were out in some meadow and it was all cut and pasted together. But actually it was in their garden uh, in California. And all he did was was change the color, change it from color. Uh, to grayscale and provided the original, which of course the palace, you know, hasn't done. So if anyone's thinking, I mean, obviously, look, all pictures, we live in the modern world, you know, probably having a little bit here and there, but they didn't issue a kill notice on that picture, uh, probably for good reason, because that was all that was changed about it. So I wouldn't consider that significant manipulation uh, because, uh, we can all do that by just pressing the black and white filter. You know, the picture was basically intact and he was able to show the original and he was very, very disappointed that the British media actually twisted it that way. And he even played an interview that he did where he was fed a question and he said, well, no, uh, you know, I took the photo remotely, blah, blah, blah. It was in their garden, etc." And then it was put out by the media that, royal photographer admits that he he cut and edited the picture so do you, do you see what's going on here see what's going on anyway so i put here how is megan feeling about the kate photo gate especially as she's been accused of similar oh god look at that Wow, two cards fell out, but which one? Yeah, two two cards just, just dropped out, but there they are. Just turn them over. Let's shuffle, let's shuffle the rest. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see. Let's see. That's what they're going to be feeling about these things about the photo as yet megan and harry have not said anything from what i understand about the photo the mother's day oh how interesting this is very okay these are very interesting cards very interesting cards so out of a five card spread, she's got three major arcana. So this is showing that this is uh, actually quite a meaty and significant question. So the first card, uh, the well, the first two, the first one that fell out was the world card. 
So, of course, the World Cup, I mean, well, quite literally, isn't it? I mean, this is the whole situation with the photograph has literally gone around the world, is being debated the world over, quite literally. For some people saying, oh, well, it's not a big deal, isn't there any, anything else that, you know, whatever. No, actually, it is a pretty big deal, especially especially if you're a British person. But this is something that literally the whole world is talking about. So if it was completely irrelevant, why are so many people interested in it? So, you know, again, it can't be duck l'orange all the time. Uh, anyway, you know, I like to have a variety of my channel of subjects anyway. But we can see here, but also as well, what is the world about? The world is about beginnings and endings, endings and beginnings. So it's like the completion of a cycle. There is, uh, in a way, what this would suggest to me is that there's something within Megan that's come full circle, in a way, full circle uh, around this. It could either confirm many of the things that she's felt or, or all along, or maybe there's a level of acceptance and release with this. Or she's just reached a moment in, in, in her life where she's literally feels like she's completed a big cycle in her personal development. If we look here in the obstacle position, we have the Ten of Wands. Now, of course, this is talking about, oh, geez, I just remembered. I forgot to cover the, I forgot to do that cover hopefully you know the algorithm you got to cover the boobies oh honestly these things because of all the ai scanning and stuff they do oh, it's just so frustrating sometimes but they literally they do look at absolutely everything anyway so we got the ten, ten of wands here and this is now this card is a cast of a beast of burden overwork etc and stuff like that but this is turned up in the obstacle position so when it's in the obstacle position a person may actually almost feel like giving up yeah the burdens are so great they're just like ah i don't think i can do it anymore and then when we combine that let me just uh, that when we combine that with the world and the completing of, of, of a cycle and stuff like that. It could be that maybe Megan's just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just absolutely done with, with the whole thing. In the middle, we have the moon card here. So, of course, the moon card speaks about things not being clear, seen clearly uh, at night. What I think this suggests to me is, is that I think um, the photo and maybe some of the aspersions that have already been cast uh, against her for doctoring the photo and stuff like that which really were not true it's probably opened up some old wounds and maybe some of the psychological traumas and difficulties of why uh, she and harry had to leave the media in the first place i mean i certainly feel uh you know they had the right to speak out about that and we all know she was not treated well i'm not saying megan's perfect but she was not treated well by the the british press and of course she mentioned how that was affecting her mental health and that how she wasn't allowed to even seek uh help because here of course the moon can also speak about mental health issues and stuff like that what this also suggests to me is because we're asking how she feels about um the the photo that kate it also suggests maybe she may be worried as well for Kate, Kate's uh, mental health as well, having been in, in that pressure cooker situation herself. So do you see it, it kind of it kind of goes both ways. It's speaking about her mental health, but could also be talking about the that of uh, Catherine's. I keep saying Kate, but in the UK, we say Kate. We call it we call her Kate. Uh, Catherine officially, but over here we call her Kate. She is a Brit after all, and we're British. Why? Well, anyway, so when we look here, the next card that comes out is the Emperor. Now, this is really interesting because, of course, this is talking about patriarchal power, etc., and uh, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Uh, so I think, in a, in a way, this is talking about charles but i think this is also potentially talking about harry and maybe potentially how his role may be changing and how she feels about that because this is a very senior card uh if harry does return in some capacity to do some of the roles and duties uh that the king can't do himself that of course elevates him back up 
Uh, and she may even fear that he potentially could become, um, you know, a target again, or maybe what kind of mental impact and emotional impact that might make on him. However, the outcome card we have here, the nine of pentacles. So, of course, this is the woman that is secure, comfortable, has everything uh, that she needs. Uh, one could certainly say, you know, Megan is, um, well, she's not short of a penny or two. Let's not forget she is independently uh, wealthy. She was already a successful actor uh, and did very well with the series Suits, if everyone remembers that, which I think she filmed in Canada. Um, and of course, you know, this is, you know, the so this is the comfortable, educated woman that basically has ev everything that she needs. So I think this is more about with the photo, it would be like if, if Harry were to go back into the fold, I think it's it's more about what is that psychological space that either he and she would be potentially uh, entering back into again, again with that, with that, with that moon card. I think she feels secure where she is. She's obviously in California. And I would imagine she may want to try and stay there if she can. But if Harry is going to be away for a significant amount of time, then, you know, then combined, they may have to try and find some role uh, for her but there's certainly this this patriarchal element there as well which could be which could represent maybe harry's increased uh, duties or more um uh, enjoying that more uh elevated status again or becoming more of that patriarchal figure so i would say mixed feelings i think i think she's got mixed feelings about the photo probably uh is it might be worried about uh, Kate's own mental health but of course you know she would also worry as well about the backlash and stuff yeah if we remember if this card came up reversed if she were to speak giving her views so there we are that's that let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and please don't forget as well to like and subscribe and press the bell notification uh, if you found this content interesting um, maybe not the easiest things to talk about because there is so much swirling, but I'm doing my best to try and keep it, you know, level, as you can see, just reading the cards. All right, now let's focus on William and then we will look at Catherine at the end. So two questions for William. OK, so question, how does William feel about being king? Uh in the not too distant future and does he even want to be king so let's see how does he feel about being king and does he actually does he actually want it let's have a look there's tremendous pressure of course, everyone says, ah, oh, well, they have a cushy life and stuff like that. But look, let me tell you, yes, uh, there's a lot of luxury there, but it doesn't mean it's all, <laughs> it's all easy. Remember, not all that glitters is gold. And being king means to be literally head of the Commonwealth and the head of Church of England as well. I forgot to mention that as well. I think it's about two point something billion people when you are uh, taking the Commonwealth countries. All right, how does William feel about being king? The cards are positive, then obviously that's something that he wants. If they're mediocre, then he might feel flat about it. And if they're negative, then it's probably a no, that he's really not that keen. But let's see. Hmm. Let's see. The wish fulfillment card comes up, Ten of Cups, then we know that he does want to be king. But let's have a look. How interesting. Oh, look at that. Strength comes back. Ah. Oh. Well, well, well. OK. Yeah, kind of like that. Now, as you know, with this deck, I don't, 
I straightened out the cards. This, do you remember the eight of wands that you just saw? You saw me shuffling. Look, it's turned, it's, it's, it's turned upside down. It's come out reversed. Wow. So what this is, what this is suggesting is, is that there's this almost this kind of stagnant kind of like energy. Things aren't moving forward. Obviously, Kate and William have been under intense scrutiny and spotlight and stuff like that. There is almost like a halt uh, to business. Uh, William has been seen swaying, gently swaying at events. Again, this is not made up. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not gossip. Uh, this is William at official events, literally swaying backwards and forwards. Just just have a look online. People aren't making this stuff up. So and this is symbolizing what the whole reading is about. So it's, it's almost like there's there's a stagnant energy. He's feeling blocked. He's feeling stuck, maybe not able to move forward in with speed in the way that he, he would like. You've just seen I'm pretty certain in in my reading before that with the eight of ones, I think it was the right way up. So anyway yeah i think it was that's just how spirit works anyway if we look here in the obstacle position we have the six of swords so this is what wanting to move to smoother waters leave it all behind but the second card it represents it the obstacle position so uh so here it's almost like he he feels like he i think he wants to move on but he feels he can't he feels stuck because like the first card here is this is this is a stagnant energy, a stuck energy, the opposite of speed. And then he's got the six of swords wanting to move away, but base, uh, to move to smoother waters, which obviously with the media and all that stuff doesn't also help as well. But look, not being able to. So the energy here uh, around William is one of feeling very stuck, maybe even trapped on a certain level. However, if we look, the strength card is back, this time in the middle of the reading. Do you remember when I just read with Harry and William? And they have the strength card as well to signify maybe that their relationship is stronger. This time, William gets it in the middle. So he's having to really kind of like dig deep, find his strength, find his resources uh, within to deal with what I think is, is, is a, a quite a strong reluctance to be the king. So look here, we see this would be William here. Um, you know, again, we know that he's uh, quite passionate about his his things, his bits and bobs. Here he is, the King of of Wands here. In terms of him inhabiting that role, but look at the outcome card, Two of Pentacles. So this is a balancing act, uh, juggling things. Sometimes it's referred to as a card of manipulation. Uh, but when you see here, the juggler is trying to balance along these choppy seas. You see the boats are being tossed on these choppy waters. So I think really at the moment, it seems to me that William is more in a kind of like uh, a fight or flight feeling, damage limitation. Obviously, there's been a lot of bad PR over the last uh, couple of weeks, which he feels uh, that he needs to try and kind of balance out in some kind of way. And it is tapping. He is having to dig into his reserves of strength because there's he would like to move to smoother waters, but feels like he can't. And there's a stagnant, difficult energy around uh, uh, just around the whole just around the whole thing. So turning those cars back the right way up. Um, yeah, so it's tricky. I would say he's kind of like this. He will do it out of duty to not cause a constitutional crisis but then also there's a part of me because the the the, the coins are like 50 50 yeah weighing it up for me it's almost like 50 50 if he stays or if he goes yeah all right next question um is there any truth to the rose hanbury affair rumors yeah so what this is and again this isn't just YouTubers, social media people coming out with this. This is this is the press, you know, basically effectively republishing their stories. I won't go into all the details of all the scandals that are said to be associated with the two of them, but let's just see. Uh, is there any truth to the Rose Hanbury affair rumours? You know, love children, all this kind of stuff has been talked about as well let's see 
What's the energy around it? Is there any truth to it? Let's have a look. If we get the lover's card turning up or the two of cups, you know, relationship cards or, you know, any cards that denote connotations of uh, relationships and stuff, then that, of course, would suggest that maybe there's more to it. But if it's more neutral and bland or it just says something else completely, then that, you know, I will also read how that comes. So let's see. Is there any truth to relationship between William Rose Hanbury? There we are, Paul. I'll spare you the extra details that I've learned about because it, it some of it is almost just too scandalous. And I want to wait to see if if Kate turns turns up. If she doesn't, then I'll then I'll share. But let's let's just let's just see. Is there any truth behind this stuff? How interesting. Ah, mm. oh, the lovers. What did I say? Huh? Ah. Oh. All right. All right. I just want you guys to use your common sense here, and I'm going to read out the cards, what they mean, but you can work this out. And do you remember I said, I said, if the two of cups or the lovers turns up, then there could be something there. Anyway, let me just remember to cover her modesty. The star has turned up. Yeah, there they are, the star, to cover up the boobies. Um, now, as you guys know, now, the, the star... You know, I have my extra interpretation for, for the star, which many of you have come to know. Usually the star means the universe has got you back, your, your back rejuvenation, etc., all of that kind of stuff. Um, moving forward with, you know, just feeling uh, blessed and poised. One of my other interpretations for the star is the narcissist, as you guys know, whenever I've been reading in regard to Duck Larange and stuff like that. So bear that in mind. And look, this is borne out. You know, I've been saying this for a long time. It's not like I've just made up that interpretation off the hoof. We, we already know that that particular uh, uh, interpretation is, in, is associated with me and how I read uh, that card in the, in the alternative. If we look here, we have the Ace of Wands uh, in the technically obstacle position. Now, this is a very interesting card because the the Ace of Wands talks talks about a fertile new beginning. Yeah, you'll notice. Yeah, we'll notice that there are leaves here. Yeah, there are leaves here growing on this. So it deals with a fertile new beginning, new uh opportunities is it's very much a yes card yeah it's very much a yes card it's turned up in the obstacle position here but one of the things what i also want to say is this is that this ace of wands is also associated with a certain body male body part let's put it that way without being too explicit those of you who are learning the tarot or are experienced with the tarot will know this connotation. Yeah. So let's put this. We're just stitching it all together. I'm just putting it out there because it showed up. Yeah. And as you know, you saw me shuffling and I pick with my eyes closed. Yeah. So there ain't no planting or trickery here. As, as one turnip in the column. <laughs> comments accused me of with one of my archetypal readings. I was enraged. She got cussed out. I'm sorry. You know, if you're upset by that, you know, don't start like like I'm make like I'm making this this stuff up. You know, like come on, Jesus. Anyway, if we look here in the middle, look, we have the fool. Now, of course, now the fool is about what again? New beginnings, fertile new beginnings, going forward, taking a bold new step, leap, taking a leap of faith. Yeah. And isn't it interesting that it's turning up next to the Ace of Wands? Yeah. So there, 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 there's that element there. So it, it, here, let me just read the next card. I've got to cover their bits and bobs. Yeah. 
the lovers yeah the lovers that's pretty obvious isn't it i mean what else can i say what was the question yeah is there anything uh, is there any truth to the rose hanbury rose hanbury affair rumors and the lovers have turned up yeah and the ace of wands which means a certain whatever and there's this leap yeah there's this this leap and then we have the queen of wands a woman so obviously this can't be megan can it <laughs> she's in america <laughs> This is uh, this is this to do, do with someone else. Could it could it be Kate potentially as well or Catherine? We'll have to see. Um, but I mean, look. Okay, look. It, it could also be read this way. But remember the question. Remember the question was that was was there? Any, I asked about Rose Hanbury, and here we do have a woman who's turned up, and the star card is also a female card so that was all i was asking about and that's what the cards have responded to it's see oh do you know what you know what this is saying to me look look i just have to say look here star and lovers star crossed lovers star crossed lovers passion a leap of faith or maybe even something foolish losing one's head over a passionate woman i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave it there gonna leave it there i can only say what i see yeah i can only say what i see and i don't think that is being biased i don't think it is i think that was a fair reading uh considering those cards and i said if the lover turns up or the two of cups bang there you see spirit speaking spirit is speaking now let's uh let's look at Catherine, gosh, um, the time does go quickly. All right, let's get stuck in. Have Catherine and William thought about her parents? Yeah. So again, in mainstream media, not just on online, and particularly with more kind of historical references, it is said it is said that William and Catherine, again for entertainment purposes only, have fought bitterly about her parents we've heard at least of throwing of pillows and all of this kind of stuff but it's been a bone of contention and if anyone was was wondering uh it said the middletons have fallen on hard times they lost a lot of money over lockdown didn't didn't many i won't even tell you some of the the wild rumors associated with how they got to make ends meet or how they potentially made ends meet but it, again photograph uh, photographs proper to articles in the uk press i think this was around about 2023 yeah but uh, essentially the family have fallen on 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 hard times from from what i've been been told and that lockdown you know the lockdowns etc you know if you've got a party entertainment business you're not allowed to be with other people because you've got to stand however many meters apart and you've got lockdowns and stuff what's that going to do for that kind of business so they didn't fare well apparently so um let's see have they thought about it let's see have they thought about it i think these are fair questions About. so again if we see things like what the five of swords could talk about an abuse of power or the knight of swords would imply aggression or the tower or but if we see more placid cards then maybe it's more gentle and there's not much to it so let's see let's have a look mm -mm. times is this card going to come up look queen of wands again that has to be kate on this one oh mm. all right this is remarkable 
I've, I've, you see how much I've shuffled. I've never had a card turn up three times. All right, here we go. So look, here, this is the cards of celebration and stuff and stuff like that. Happiness, joyfulness, etc. So this is the top. This is top of the reading. So maybe, uh, maybe some of the rumors are overblown. This is this tends to be a celebratory card, coming together, having fun. But notice as well, they've all got drinks. <laughs> Yeah, just saying. All got drinks. Yeah. Uh, if we look here, though, we have the judgment card that's up. So this is like the clarion call. This is the big declaration, big news. Uh, this is, I mean, and, and quite literally, if it, when it's it reversed because it's in the obstacle position, this can literally mean feeling uh, judged, literally feeling judged. So here, in terms of Oh, so it because look, Queen of Wands. So that has to be Catherine. Maybe she feels that William has judged her parents. Because look here, there's the there's the Five of Cup, which deals with losses. Now, do you remember I was saying it, it? It's actually well known now that the Middletons have actually made a lot of losses. Not everything is lost completely. Do you see? There's still two cups up here, but it comes next to that Queen of wands, which in this case would have to represent Kate, wouldn't it? There's also been um, words said that the Middletons, or or they believe that William said that they've been living too lavishly beyond their means. Look, this is all about partying. Oh, of course, of course. The, the parents had an entertainment party business. Look, the card of partying. Right. Yes, okay. And then look, then we got the Ace of Pentacles, which is which is about uh, which is about slow and steady win wins the race. This can also be known as the Mercenary. It is a money card as well. Also deals with values, but it moves slowly. Okay, here I asked about the parents, didn't I? Party. What was the? Oh, someone let me know in the comments what their company was called. Party something. And I was talking about, you know, lockdowns, how they couldn't run their party business. There is an element of judgment there where maybe uh, William isn't so happy or in fact, well, the judgment as well would also be like because this can also be the, the, the judgment call, the wake up call as well. So obviously lockdowns and stuff had a big impact on their party business. Kate is here in the middle, obviously wanting to support her parents, but there's a sense of loss about what has happened and potentially maybe kate might feel that william may have been a bit judgmental there again the judgment i'm only using these words because these are the cards that are coming up and there's an element here um it said that william was said to be supporting the middletons as well but maybe he's slowed up with the cash yeah this isn't like abundant overflowing there's an element of steadiness there but it's coming next to the uh five of cups loss so i think this they have i think they have argued about the middleton's financial loss and maybe william's not really liking the way that that looks yeah and that is documented as well in mainstream media wow okay my goodness okay uh, this one, uh, was Catherine taken to hospital on December the 28th, 2023? So you guys, again, this isn't conjecture. There was a cavalcade of uh, uh, of like kind of royal uh, cars, you know, the Land Rovers and some police cars, some say an ambulance as well, which was coming out of Sandringham. And it was on the way to the King Edward VIII hospital so this is actually this is actually recorded documentary and uh, documented again not conjecture not cgi not conspiracy theory it was seen going that way so uh because some are saying that actually she was in hospital actually quite a lot sooner before this planned um abdominal surgery uh, which apparently according to some sources came as a surprise to some people and if it was planned, then there shouldn't have been uh, royal engagements that had to be cancelled because they would not have been booked if it was a planned thing. But anyway, that's just common sense being applied. 
Was she, was she in there? If we get aces, that would be yes. So if we get yes cards, again, if the cards are quite neutral, then there may be. And if it's just like an eh, eh, a no, then we'll see those kind of no cards. If we see the seven of cups turn up, it could suggest there might be illusions and delusions. And we certainly do not want to see the devil. If the devil turns up, that's not good. Anyway, let's see here. All right, spirit. Let's keep in that cavalcade. Let's keep in that cavalcade. Let's keep in that cavalcade. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I planned. Oh, bless her. Oh, bless her. Hmm. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Tremendous hard work. Yeah. Uh, this is this is a lot of heavy lifting. So when I'm just tuning into this, this could be just everything. I think this is also as well, just her burdens in general. Just, you know, just reading that general energy. Ten, ten of wands, feeling burdened, overworked, uh, you know, not being able to cope with, with, with the workload. Yeah. We look here in the obstacle position, we have got the four of pentacles. So when it's the right way up, this is being shrewd, being prudent, uh, being conservative with one's finances. When it's in reverse, though, however, this can actually talk to actually deep financial stress, uh, having to rummage down the back of the sofa for money, uh, that, that kind of stuff, literally trying to hold on to the pennies and stuff like that. Now, we know... Uh, by virtue of marriage that she that she is a wealthy uh, person because of her status being married to William. However, this could also be speaking about what the middle turns, which we've already know are in financial straits. So here we can see spirit is actually now we're talking about Kate is actually talking about the family finances again. Yeah, because independent of William, of course, uh say like if we think of diana for example she was lady diana spencer let's not forget from a long one of the most established aristocratic families and i will do her chart by the way i was just looking at it again at some point uh that can't be said uh, of kate because obviously a, a family have, have fallen into financial straits so in a funny way even though we're asking about the cavalcade we're also getting stuff to do with money as well if we look here in the middle we've got the seven of pentacles i call this the card of roi return on investment so here as well this also shows Ka uh, catherine's been pondering her investment potentially what she's put uh, into the marriage uh but just in general um how much she's potentially given as well how many seeds she's sown how many sacrifices she may have made and she might be looking at that return and is really pondering it if we look here though we can see look there is something to do with aggression here uh like i said i said if there were cards maybe to do with aggression as well stuff like that knight of swords here we are so obviously someone was being rushed somewhere for a reason so my instinct on that the fact that this card has shown up i'm going to say yes i think she was in that in that in that cavalcade uh this card uh, it's not it's not an easy card um it's not a passive card as you can see it can actually be quite a violent card actually again i'm just saying what i'm seeing what spirit is sharing with these cards but if we look here the outcome card is the three of pentacles so this is a spirit of collaboration and coordination so uh you know there is a, there's an element here of uh working working with others this could be maybe uh her being in recovery and then ready to kind of face the world again with careful negotiation and plans so that is that is a bit more positive, uh, at least, because, you know, we really just want to know that she's OK. So if we look here at the last question, which is, is Catherine OK and will she return after Easter? Yeah. The most simple and I think the most straightforward one that many people have been asking. Let me just hurry up. All right. Is Catherine OK? Let's see what cards we get. Hopefully we get 
positive cards showing up. Let's have a look. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. Oh. Remember, this card doesn't mean literally what it means, but here, look. I mean, what can I say? Look, the death card has turned up. I've said this before, and I said it when I did a collaboration with uh, Jen Bushman, and I, I'm sticking with my guns on this one because the card has come up again. I think Catherine has had a near-death experience. Really, genuinely, I do. When I looked at her chart, do you remember I said she's had a she's having a dark night of the soul experience. This, I'm sorry, just 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 clarifies it. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's D E A D, yeah, but she's been through a very transformative experience. Look here in the obstacle position. Do I need to say any more? Broken heart, upset, broken hearted about things. I think it's not just you know, not just uh, you know what's happened recently in the media and all that stuff, which you know obviously she's be distraught about the way that's gone down. But look, I think just beforehand, broken, broken hearted, sadness, yeah. In the middle, tremendous amount of emotions. But this can be a positive card as well. If we take the more positive uh, interpretation of this, it could be that she's turning the corner. Maybe she's turning the corner. But nonetheless, this is a card that has a tremendous amount to do with emotions. And when you look at the first three, yeah, uh, in regard of what could be affecting the emotions, then, you know, that's not really looking so great, is it? However... There is a very powerful card here, the magician. Now, the shadow of this interpretation can be manipulation. Now, okay, yeah, was the photo manipulated? Yes, it was. It was, yeah, let's just be honest. And we do know that this can be one of the interpretations for the magician. However, this is also means using every tool uh, at your disposal. This is about taking power into your own hands, acting affirmat affirmatively as above, so below. So either way, the way I'm interpreting this is that after this kind of near-death experience that, that she's had due to sadness, difficulty, a sense of betrayal, let's not forget this is also a card, a card of betrayal, which has left her incredibly emotional, but maybe in some way turning over a new leaf. She's now, I would like to think, using all of her powers at her disposal, gathering herself together for a higher strength in regard to what? Look, two of cups, uh, relationship, marriage. This is the card of marriage. So it, it, it's kind of like it does show that maybe she has felt some level of betrayal within the marriage. Again, you know, that's what the three, three of swords means. But there is an element here where I think she's taking power into her own hands in regards to her relationships, in regards to her marriage, which this is a famous two of cups is a famous marriage card. Look, you can't call me bias for saying that we all know what that card means, marriage, relationships and stuff like that. So I think this she's had this dark night of the soul. And this intense emotional experience, but now I think she's wanting to take more charge of things, but definitely using her power in regard to her marriage. What that what that will outcome of that will be, because we need to look at the earlier cards as well, remains to be seen. But this says to me, I think she's I think she's alive. Um, uh, there are said to be reports of her in the media, although they did use an old picture from September on the front cover of The Sun saying they saw Kate about why they're using old pictures. But anyway, let's put that aside. So I think she's alive, but there, there's a lot going on. And I think in some way Kate might actually be uh, taking 
she's she's uh taking up more agency more power i feel um in in her life and maybe wants more control over how she performs her public duties going forward in the future so um I will leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much, everyone, for the support. I know I've gone over a little bit, slightly long video, but had to get all out. I hope you found that interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification and share. Of course, if you found that interesting as well, let me know in the comments below. You'll next see me on my Thursday fry up, most probably. Um, maybe I'll do a video, video on Wednesday. I, I, I don't know. Oh, actually, no, I've got some collaboration. I'm going to be with... Uh, uh, Deanne Shield Maiden, that's when you'll next see me, and then Thursday, Friday after that. Anyway, I will leave that there for now because this is already quite a long video. Thanks so much, uh, everyone, and uh, see you all soon. Mwah! Big love. All right, let's see. Here we are.